Uh, the flag in the back uh, is the flag containing 31 stars, which is the number of the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hold up. Huh. Guard, please retire the post. Well, I go half a step to the rear. Parch. Mark time. Parch. Left. 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 Forward. Parch. Left. 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 Now that really makes it local. 
And that, when I think about that, I think, well, they did a lot. This is not the only piece of lumber that came from double trouble, but it uh, was certainly one of the major pieces. And that I was one of those persons that he called upon to uh, jaw them out in every little detail. So that's that's the judge's secret that I'm letting out. Uh, <laughs> I think that we all should give him the applause for the wonderful job he's done. It's 
outreaching to the community is one of its finest features. This is a visited that thought to ask jurors whether they would be willing to serve on the committee after their service, whose purpose would be to reach out to others in the community and generate confidence in the judicial system and to all the importance. I'm proud to be among those celebrating its reopening today, and I want to thank all who were involved in putting together this program for inviting me to witness its official reopening. Thank you.
Uh, Ocean County uh, was formed when six towns split off from the county of Monmouth to set up their own county. And the reasons for the split are not really uh, important for today's proceedings. Uh, it had something to do with taxes. Uh, so again, some things really don't change that much. Uh, in any event, the uh, county was formally established uh, on February 15, 1850, and the founders set to work on the naughty uh, task of deciding which town would have the honor of becoming the county seat and thus having the courthouse in its community. And after a two-day fight and much arm twisting, uh, the little village of Tom's River won out by a single vote over the village of Lakehurst. Then the real headache started. The new county had no money. Uh, they, uh, how could they construct a, a building to house all of the county? shape of a popular bustle of that day. The room to my left, the robing room, and the room to my right, what was called the lawyer's retire retiring lounge, was not added until 20 years later in 1890. <clears throat> As the courtroom neared completion, it received rave reviews. The November 30th uh, issue of the Courier states, the Grecian Ben at the courthouse comes on finally as it approaches completion. The Grecian Ben will soon become a popular institution, I think, when the courtroom becomes to be used again in January next. The December 14th issue of the Courier states that the building committee is pushing the courthouse. And right along, Bristol's Grecian Ben begins to look very cozy and becoming. In the January 4, 1871 issue of the Courier reports, the courthouse is fast approaching completion and we understand will be in order for the courts uh, next week. I pointed out to uh, Mr. Harding that uh, things again don't change because the courthouse didn't open for many months thereafter. Once again, <laughs> repeating this. <laughs> Going on with the quote, it is certainly a gem in one of the finest courthouses in the capital state where the judges can sit in majestical dignity. <laughs> I haven't sat in majestical dignity for the 26 years of the <laughs> It continues, persons from the rural districts will hardly know the establishment and few there would desire it back again to where it was a few months ago. Indeed, it is a thing of beauty. The March 29th issue of the New Jersey Courier notes our courthouse. Am I told that there's someone uh, else before Murphy Jordan that wishes to address? The note was passed. <laughs> okay. The historical society. Your Honor and Your Honors, I'm Alan Moore, President of the Historical Society, and I can honestly say this is the first time I've enjoyed being summoned to the bench. What we did here was as close as we could to the uh, accurate reproduction, uh, keeping in mind that we, uh, we have to make concessions to a functioning court. For example, we have to have real lighting. Uh, they had they had gas lights back then. We had uh, hot belly stoves. And we thought about leaving them in. They were, they, we found the best one under the walls and those, those kind of things. But um, many of my clerks joined in that effort. And I, uh, I'm not going to recognize a whole lot of people, but I have about 12 or 13 of them over there. And just to see what young people who know nothing about history or learned about it in this setting look like. Did you all stand? But, back to the issue of thank you. Not simply be a restored room, but a room of restoration, where the wounded will be made whole and the broken will be healed. We thank you for the constitutional framework that protects our liberties and helps us settle our differences, for the law that relieves us of the tyranny of the present tense and embodies the wisdom of the past. We thank you for jurists 
who in previous generations found a way on this uneven terrain of human history to render precedents that reflect to a certain measure your perfect justice. And on behalf of the citizens of this great county, we ask your special blessing on all the judges, the officers of the court, the clerks, the lawyers, everyone who will seek the truth in this place. We pray boldly now that in a hundred years on the centenary of this rededication, people not yet born will celebrate a century where righteousness flows down and justice has rolled on like a mighty stream in this place. In your great name, amen. Amen. And now I think I'll break the tradition and say <laughs> the court is in recess. <laughs> Judge Serpentelli for all of his hard work and dedication for doing such a beautiful job and paying attention to such detail because it's amazing and unfortunately I'm no longer working here anymore so I don't get to sit in the clerk's chair but um, I just want to thank Judge Serpentelli for all his hard work and that's all. <laughs> and five, four, three, courtroom is absolutely magnificent. It's nice to come back and actually see walls and a ceiling up. Last time I was here, none of this had been accomplished yet. It's stunning. I still remember going around and looking at the various benches and going on the number of Nick and Ding tours just to see what happened uh, the last time the uh, contractors got in here, trying to preserve some of the gorgeous, gorgeous bench from their uh, errant hammer blows. Oh, gone? Light on? There it is. Now it is. Now it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and we're rolling in five, four, three. I remember when I first walked into this uh, courtroom when I interviewed for a position with Judge Serpentelli. Um, the feeling I got, however, was greatly different from the feeling I got when I walked in today. When I, the first, before the uh, historic preservation, walked into this room and the feeling I got was of just this expansive cavernous area that was cold and 
not inviting and walked in today and had to do a double take because it's just unbelievable. And the attention to detail, Judge Serpentelli, as usual, has done a magnificent job. Five, four, three, well, the first time I was in this courtroom was not when I was clerking for Judge Serpentelli. I got called for jury duty about two years before I was ever here as a clerk. And I thought it was very impressive as it was in the old state, uh, hearing the judge do the whole spiel before uh, everyone was called for jury duty. And I just thought it was very impressive and historic as it was. So when I came in today, I was amazed at just how awe-inspiring it is. It's beautiful. It does a wonderful job of, reno of renovation. and. Um, I don't remember being actually having done research, but Roseanne told me I did, so it must be true. So I'm very glad that, ho in however small a part I played, that I was able to contribute towards this. Uh, I love being back. One of the best years of my life was clerking here, and uh, it's a thrill to be back, and it's a thrill to see it uh, in its current state. Congratulations, Judge. And. Let's just let's keep the just try to keep the background down a little bit, okay, folks. And we're rolling in five, four, three. Well, I'm sure, like all the law clerks, uh, I'm going to be saying the same thing that I was told when I first came in that I would be the first law clerk to sit in the grand courtroom one. Uh, unfortunately, I missed it by a few months, but. Uh, Though I never put any research into it, I do like to say I did put some architectural uh, opinion into the courtroom. If you just pan up right up to there, if that's possible. <laughs> right on that chandelier in the inside with that little dust. I remember nobody wanted that at first because they thought it was too much. But I said, you know, when you're standing back in the corner, you can't really see the outline design of the inside. So. Any time in the future when I come in, I can look up and say, you know, that was my input. But everything else, Judge, you, uh, you did it to a T. It's absolutely beautiful. And, uh, you know, the county's very fortunate and lucky that someone with uh, your passion for history was involved in this. And uh, you should feel honored that it will last for this long. And it was honored to be a part of it. Thank you. One more time. And five, four, three, two. The courthouse came out absolutely amazing, and it's just going to be a privilege to be the first clerk who's going to work in here with you. You did an absolutely incredible job, and I am sure that this is going to be the most amazing courtroom that I will ever be in. Thank you. Ready and five, four, three. Judge, uh, congratulations. The courtroom is breathtaking. The restoration is more than I could have ever expected. I am uh, an Ocean County resident myself, and I'm very proud to have this place as our, our county courthouse. And uh, I know it would have never been done like this or maybe done at all without you, and I think the county uh, owes you a great deal for that. Uh, so again, congratulations. Uh, it's an amazing place. Okay, we're rolling in five, four, three. Hi, I'm standing in the newly restored jury assembly room. Um, this is beautiful, as you can see. When I worked here starting in 1985 for Judge Serpentelli as a law clerk, I had a desk over here, and then I had a co-clerk who had a desk across the room, which is now right in front of me. Take two. <laughs> and... Five, four, three. I'm standing in the, um, the newly uh, uh, dedicated jury assembly room um, adjacent to the historic courtroom number one. Uh, I asked to come in here to make a few comments because when I worked for Judge Serpentelli as a law clerk beginning in 1985 and running until about 1992, um, becoming the law clerk who wouldn't leave, um, this was where the law clerks uh, had their office. I had a desk over here and I had a co-clerk that had a desk across the way. Right now, as you can see, there are some beautiful display cases 
um, that house obviously artifacts from the historic courtroom and um, other artifacts of the, this beautiful courtroom. Uh, for the, the whole time that I worked for Judge Serpentelli, I know this was a dream of his to restore uh, the courtroom to its uh, former grandeur. And um, I credit him and the, and the uh, county freeholders for working so well together to bring um, this beautiful courtroom back to the citizens of Ocean County. And I'm very proud to have been a part of its history. And as a practicing attorney in the county, I, I look forward to coming before the judge and any other judges sitting here in courtroom number one. Thank you. This year, I'm giving him something just brilliant. Out of control! To be warned, watch ABC's Heaven Presents the New York Comedy Festival, Monday at 8.